Hi guys, and welcome to another Nintendo video. I haven't done a pickups video for a while, so in this video I'm going to show off my recent scores and pickups. Enjoy. To start the video off, uh, I've got these two little figurines. Um, McDonald's was back at it again and providing Mario toys with their Happy Meals. Um, I sort of caught the end of the, uh, the promotion or whatever you want to call it. Um, I managed to get Luigi and this stupid peach thing. Um, no idea what the purpose in peach is. It looks kind of crappy. Um, but Luigi, I got quite a few of these um, and I gave one away to a friend. Uh, but he's throwing a little flame ball um, and it came with a Cooper and a Goomba. And again, Peach, no idea what the fuck that thing is. They had a few other cool toys, but um, again, I sort of caught the end of it and these were the only two that I was able to pick up. Um, I bought tons of Happy Meals and every time I got Luigi's and each time I asked for something else, um, basically they said that's all I had. So that's that. In one of the many projects that I'm working on, um, I picked up a racing wheel for the GameCube and that wheel didn't work for the purpose that I bought it for. It does work and it works great for many GameCube games but the game that I wanted it to work with was Mario Kart GP um, which was the arcade version. Um, so that not working uh, I did manage to find and purchase another racing wheel for a very good price of $15. Um, this is a universal 5-in-1 racing wheel from Thrustmaster. And this works on the GameCube, PS1, PS2, PC and Xbox. So it was a good price for 15 bucks, and I got the original box as well. And the upside to this one is it actually does work for Mario Kart GP, which I was planning on doing a video on in the future. Um, but there are a few little hiccups that I'm working on, which I won't go into detail about. Moving on, uh, another thing, or another two things that I picked up recently was these little miniature arcade machines um, came out of selling them for twenty dollars each uh, I grabbed Miss Pac-Man and Tetris um, they do have Frogger and Space Invaders uh, I would like to get them as well but didn't really want to spend 80 bucks on all four of them um, I liked the uh, I liked the packaging for Miss Pac-Man um, and Tetris I haven't played for a while so th that's the reason why I got those two um, I really wish they were half the price that they were. You know, maybe 10 bucks I would have gone and got all of them in one hit. Um, but being $20, I picked up these two. Now the next big score uh, I received was actually given to me, um, which is fucking amazing. A good mate gave me this shelf, um, display shelf, bookcase shelf, whatever you want to fucking call it. It's fucking awesome. I can fit all my consoles on display, or most of them. Um, I currently have the Nintendo consoles in there as you can see um, and then down the bottom I've got some PlayStation 2, Xbox 360 games, Sega, etc. But he gave me this um, and it's fucking awesome. Um, not only did he give me this shelf, he gave me a whole bunch of other shit like this uh, Sony PSX Japanese console, um, fucking amazing. Uh, he also gave me a couple of console boxes, um, so I've got a PlayStation 2, Gran Turismo 4 box and a PS1 box. I own a PlayStation 2, but I don't own a PS1 as of yet. Um, but at least I have the box for one. He also gave me a whole bunch of uh, Sega Dreamcast controllers. Um, there's fucking tons of these. Uh, I don't have Dreamcast yet, um, but I have been thinking of getting one. Uh, and the fact that they gave me these controllers means I've got a shit ton of controllers already. And if all that wasn't enough to give away, he also gave me a Super Famicom with a whole bunch of games. Uh, now there's some good gems in there, um, and then some games that I don't know. Uh, I don't read Japanese, I don't understand Japanese, so some of them um, I'll probably never play, but they're just pretty cool to have.
amongst all the Super Famicom stuff, uh, he also gave me a arcade stick um, Sammy Pachinko controller, uh, which is for the Japanese Pachinko games. Uh, I did see a few uh, cartridges in there, so I may have to do a separate video on that at some stage. Um, but that's fucking awesome. I didn't even know that thing existed. Uh, who, who would have thought that you could do betting on uh, Super Nintendo? Another thing which is pretty exciting uh, that he gave me is the LodgeNet device here. Uh, I will definitely do a separate video on this one in the future. If you've never seen this before, it was around mostly in America, um, maybe somewhere else in the world, but fucking this shit never comes to Australia, so we always miss out and you don't know this stuff ever existed. Uh, until you start seeing it pop up on eBay. Now out of all the cool stuff that he's given me, um, this Super Nintendo PAL version uh, Super Mario All-Stars box is by far my favorite thing. Um, it's just a box, there's no console in there, um, but that doesn't matter. I've already got the console, I didn't have the box, um, always wanted a box, and now I've got one, thanks to uh, old mate Nunu. Now a lot of this stuff was uh, given to me by him uh, on the condition that I make a video um, or many videos and uh, here's the first one. Now the next thing in my uh, list of good scores is the Brawler 64 gamepad uh, for Nintendo 64 made by Retro Fighters. This was sent over to me from America um, by my wife's sister. Uh, you can follow her at Cop64 on Instagram. I haven't had a chance to uh, test this out yet um, but I'm pretty keen to try it out with Mario Kart on the Nintendo 64 and the joystick has the same feel as the GameCube uh, joystick which is awesome. Along with that she also sent me this uh, little Wario figurine and uh, Mario Kart figurine which is pretty cool. They look like a uh, little baggy fucking key ring thing whatever you want to call them. Now lastly in the world of pickups as the uh, year is coming to an end uh, I came across a calendar shop and amongst them was this Super Nintendo 2019 calendar and I had to have it. I saw the uh, Super Mario World picture on the front and the Super Mario World logo, Star Fox logo, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past logo, Super Metroid logo, Super Mario Kart logo and I flipped it over and saw all the pictures on the back and yeah just couldn't couldn't pass this up. That's all for this pickups video guys. Um, please hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content. Um, I'm sure I've missed something, so I may do another pickup video at some stage in the future. Uh, but leave some comments below um, if there's anything in here that you may have nostalgia for, um, or if you just want to say hello, uh, leave that in the comment section below. And uh, thanks for watching.